Hello there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter. And this filter is another internal filter. It's from the same manufacturer as I think the very first video that I did in this series. Superfish Aquaflow XL. And I was recently contacted by somebody called Andy who asked me if I would take a look at a smaller version. I initially wasn't too keen, but this smaller version is actually manufactured slightly differently. And that's it there, Superfish Aquaflow 300. So let's see what comes with this fella. Okay, we've got a basic stick on the side internal filter for an aquarium. We've got two sections which attach to the front of it the pump sits in the top. Also comes with a spray bar that attaches to the pump and that allows for a diffused flow or if you don't want that you can just have a straight powerful flow. Output of the pump is adjustable from 300 litres to 540 litres per hour. If you want to get into the pump simply take the top off and you straight into the impeller there if you ever need to clean the impeller out. Or, if you want to get into the compartments where your media and foam is, you simply twist up from the front and they come off. So I suppose effectively that could stay stuck on the side of the tank. Suckers are pretty small so I'm not sure it would stay on there. I think if you tried to lift this bottom section off, this whole lot would just come off. But it's a nice idea. Okay, that is what does our filtering job. Two sections, in the bottom one, and this is strange, in the bottom one we've got some pretty good quality sintered glass tubes, but unfortunately that is where most of the water is going to be drawn in. So our first point of contact for all the dirty water is going to be our pretty good filter media, so it doesn't want to be in there. The upper section has quite a thick block of foam with a little cap on the top and inside of there we've got some carbon. So we've got mechanical, biological, chemical filtration. It's in the wrong order but it's all there. Now if you just want to keep the stuff that comes with this particular filter but you just want it in the right order, well more or less in the right order. Simply push the foam into the bottom section so that it's sticking out the top. Put your media in the top section. Push the two together and now you've got the water coming through all the foam before it gets to your media. That is going to greatly increase the lifespan of your media. It's also going to keep it working effectively as well because there's not much muck going to get to there. Most of it is going to be stuck in the foam. Or if you fancy changing what comes with it and you fancy making it a little bit more effective and changing the media to make the media work a little bit harder, take those out and move them to the side and in the bottom tray just cut some pond foam. I haven't gone with a fine pad here because we've got a reasonably powerful pump and a very small area a very small contact area for the water. If we go with a fine pad, it's going to clog up quite quickly because we haven't got that contact area. We haven't got a big contact area, you know. So I've gone for one, two, three little coarse pads and one medium pad. So in the bottom section, that's where all our coarse pads go. Or you can just cut down this fella to fit in there. Basically, just cut it through the middle, cut it in half. So bottom tray filled with the coarse pads, top tray filled with about 300 and I think it's 350 grams of bio gravel and that needs to be put in just below the level of the intake slits here and that will allow a medium pad to go in there and hold it in place like that. That means that any water going through the sides will hit the medium pad 
before it hits our media. So it will protect the media from becoming clogged. And that is a hell of a lot of media in there. I'll just give you a close up on that. Look at that, that's absolutely packed out to the max. And because we've got a nice fine grid in here, none of that is gonna get sucked up into the pump. So the top section fits on the bottom section. That gets pushed back onto the body and we've got a fully pimped filter. That is actually, well, I'm impressed with it because that is quite streamlined, reasonably compact. It's got a decent flow to it and it holds a good amount of media as well. I like this. I'll put the link to it in the video description. And if you're interested, check it out. I'm sure it's available in other countries, probably sold under a different name. Okay, I'm gonna get this one packaged up now and get it back to Andy, already pimped up. Give him all his old stuff back. And if you've got a filter you'd like me to take a look at and feature in this series, by all means, get in touch. My email and phone number are in the video description and also in the pinned comment. Please, only people in the UK, because it's gonna cost a hell of a lot for me to send this out worldwide, just due to the weight and the bulk of some of these filters. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hopefully I've had the mic switched on. Yes, I have.